Hey, good morning everybody online. This is Blind Justice coming at you live on the streets of Aberdeen, Washington. And day 58 of our peaceful protest, Resting is Not a Crime, sitting outside City Hall. And today is the day we turn in our petitions. Ta-da! We've got a big stack of them right here. Uh, 93 pages of them and it can hold up to 10 signatures per page uh, there's we have a total of 902 signatures because some pages don't have full you know not, not every t slot in the 10 is filled up with a signature so we have 902 is our total and the number we were shooting for um, that we had to hit was 604 so we're gonna go inside here and turn them in turn them in here in a second and probably do a, a separate video of that just so we have it documented that we turned them in we submitted them they received them but I uh, just want to talk to you about the petitioning um, budget last I guess the last 40 some days when we've been out petitioning because uh, we started on the 16th of June and Maybe, maybe it hasn't, yeah. It hasn't been quite 40 days. It's been like 30, a little over 30 days. Because we got a late start into our 45 day window. But um, yeah, it's been a um, pleasure. It's been a, interesting to, to have conversations with many people. We've talked to a few thousand people in this process. And um, Thank you to all the supporters and the people that help canvas and going door to door or standing standing with us outside Walmart for hours and getting signatures um, over at the post office and just you know having the conversation with people and helping people be informed about what's going on and thank you to all the the people who signed and supported the people who support the cause but didn't sign either because they are not registered or were out of town. You know, lived out of town or, or registered out of town or um, they believe there was a conflict of interest like if they work for the city there's several people that work for the city that support uh, what we're doing but didn't want to sign for fear of repercussions uh, but then there are people who didn't work for the city uh, actually a, a shocking number of people that uh, support the petition and what we're doing and were afraid of reprisals from the city uh, officials who didn't work for the city, they were just, they had, they've heard too many stories and were afraid that if their name was on the, on a petition sheet that they would be targeted. Um, can't blame them for that. And, um, we've had, I guess, out of the, you know, thousands of people that we talked to, the majority of those people uh, support what we're doing, support the petition, um, don't agree with the ordinance, and like I said, a lot of those people were from out of town, because at, when you're at Walmart, that's a, a lot of the, the population coming in and out, and, but we went door to door a lot, and there was a lot of support there, a lot of the people, um, living here either aren't registered to vote, or have other reasons why they didn't want to sign, but they say they support what we're doing and, and encourage us in, uh, along our, our way and wish us good luck with getting signatures. So again, thanks for all the support. But just uh, to, to talk about a few of the conversations throughout that, that time frame that we've had with people um, and demeanors. So conversations and demeanors. The demeanors of the people, either neutral or supportive, were pleasant um, encouraging, positive, um, courteous, respectful. But then when we ran into people who disagreed uh, with the petition, who agreed with the ordinance, out of that um, group, or that subsection, of people that we encountered, uh, the majority of that group of people were hostile, 
angry, frustrated. Um, some of them yelled at us. Um, some of them yelled at other people near us, saying, "Hey, these people are uh, don't sign their stuff," you know, and, and then just painting another picture of what we were saying. Right. So the message is right here. The message is on this page uh, with over 60 videos, probably, and um, different things that we've posted in writing. And so the message is here. If there's if there's a problem with any of the message, then you have all the resources you need to find that where there's where there's something that's not true, there's something that we said that's false, um, or that you have a problem with that you can copy it. You know, download the video. You can find the part of the video that was something was said and find that timestamp. You have plenty of opportunity to get gather the evidence that you want that you're saying whatever part of our message has been false to then present and bring to our attention like hey this is false and here's the supporting evidence why you know but when having conversations with you know the population of people that disagreed with the petition who agree with the ordinance um, in conversation if 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 they engage in conversation that was the smallest percent um, I don't know out of that number maybe maybe a dozen people wanted to engage in conversation more than just you know yelling up a words and walking away but actually them saying something and then letting us say something back and forth um, Typically, we ask questions to see if, you know, to find out where they're coming from, to find out their perspective, to find out what information they're saying they disagree with. And then they start talking about all this other information, like pooping and peeing in public and blocking doorways and blocking sidewalks. I'm like, okay, well, I think we agree on that. We don't want that. <laughs> nobody's, nobody's advocating for that. Um, this, that's not the message. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about this ordinance that says it's illegal for you to sit down. You know, that's the ordinance that we're talking about. So a lot of times there were two different conversations happening. The conversations that we were trying to have with you know, discussing the ordinance and why we were wanting to repeal it. And then the conversation that a supposed, um, somebody who supposedly disagreed with us and they were having a conversation disagreeing with a bunch of issues that weren't anything about what we were talking about. So that's a common fallacious argument where you you try to conflate other issues, you try to tie in other issues to somebody's point, and then you try to say, well look, these issues are messed up, look these issues are messed up, so your argument's messed up. Right? That's one that's one tactic to try to um, tear down somebody's position. Is if you can't actually find something that they've said in their messaging and invalidate it, then you find something else that sounds similar or that you can try to make sound similar and say, look, this is what you must say. And if I can disprove that or make that sound ridiculous, then you and your whole message sounds ridiculous. And so we, we point that out when people try to do that. It's like, well, that's not what we're saying. We actually agree on the stuff that you're saying. So what do you exactly do you disagree with what we're, what we're saying? And we you know, try to get them to, to come back to the conversation that we're trying to have about an ordinance and they're trying to have a different conversation. So that's you know, just interesting, just trying to have conversations with people. Um, but then the other, another common thing that was uh, talked about by people thinking they disagreed would, would be if, a lot of times it was both, a lot of times they would try that with the message, have the, they misunderstood the message, or they been led to believe the message is about peeing and pooping and all these other things, when it's not. Um, so then once we clarified that with them, like, no, we agreed, and they're like, okay, well, then it's you. It's you, Mr. Blind Justice, and you know you need to prove your identity. You need to prove your credentials and your background and your this and your that. And I was like, okay, well, why do you want to know any of my personal information? How does that have anything to do with what I'm saying, right? Because you can take the words that I'm saying, the words that have been on these videos and on my posts, and research them, right? You can take those, put them into search engines. You can research to your heart's content. Okay. And how does that have? And you can prove it or disprove it. You can verify it or, or falsify it. You can validate it or invalidate it, right? You can find different things and, and, and then bring the evidence. And I would love to hear any evidence 
uh, that prove or disprove anything that I've said. It's great. But when people struggle with the message and, and struggle to disprove a message, one of the other tactics is called a straw man argument where they then try to attack the messenger, right? And try to say, well, if we invalidate the messenger, then we invalidate the message. And so then they, that's why they're wanting people, some people want personal details to try to say, oh, look, this, this, and this, and poke holes in the messenger. And it's like, well, it doesn't matter what you, if you try to tear down the messenger, the message still stands. Um, so that's a fallacious argument as well. But um, in person, I'm more willing to give personal information to people, right? Because it's in person, it's personal, you know? It's a personal encounter with somebody. This message isn't, has nothing to do with me. It's nothing to do with the messenger. It has everything to do with what the message is about. Freedom for everybody. Justice for everybody. And, and so some people just struggle with that concept. And another thing we kept running into um, with people claiming to be opponents uh, was this kind of xenophobic mindset and uh, agoraphobic mindset of just, just you're, you're different, you're not from around here, and, and so you, you're bad. <laughs> it's kind of the, the arguments that some people were making, and, and we just don't quite understand that. I don't quite understand how, um, where somebody lives or has lived makes a big difference in what they're saying. Again, you, you have to listen to the message and what, what the words are. And and then take that for what it is and research it. You know, don't just believe it. Don't just trust what I'm saying. Like, check it out. Verify it. Invalidate it. You know? Um, so yeah, it's been an interesting experience doing these petitions. And again, a delight talking with everybody. Um, regardless of their presupposition or, or whether they thought they agreed or disagreed. Um, there were a handful of people that uh, in discussion and the outset of the discussion thought they disagreed and then through the discussion realized, oh, they didn't disagree. Uh, actually, that's, that's any of them that were actually engaging in discussion and trying to understand, trying to deliver their point and were heard and then tried to listen to what we were saying, the majority of that group walked away from the conversation realizing, oh, we agree on most everything. And it's only the, the smallest percentage of people that we actually engaged in conversation that were trying, we had, you know, back and forth dialogue um, who just dug in their heels and didn't want to listen to what we were saying. Uh, and, and it couldn't, just said, you know, everything you're saying is wrong because of, you know, fallacious arguments that we just discussed. So, but that's interesting. Um, so on that line of, of discussion or topic, uh, Pride Festival's coming up in Hoquiam. I think it's on the 4th. And we're going to have a table there. And that table is basically just going to be dedicated to discussion. Um, the Socratic method and any topic that anybody wants to come discuss, any topic under the sun, uh, will be open for discussion at the table we'll have there. So, and beyond the sun, I guess, it, we can go into to physics and quantum physics and metaphysics, so anything you guys want to discuss. But for now, I'm going to sign off and then go inside here, turn in these petitions. So again, thank, everybody, thank you everybody who uh, supported, who engaged in conversation, um, who shared this content and got the message out that we, what we're doing. So, big win for you guys in Aberdeen. Peace and love to you. Have a lovely day. Wonderful Friday. Uh, and Deo Presto Libre.